Hello guys, today class number 12, moving on on our program. As we do in all classes, we need to do a warm up, a little drill for all the parents, kids, students, uh, get a little bit warmed up before the techniques. As we did on the previous two classes, we're gonna do the same drills and raise the time, okay? We're gonna do the bridge. My daughter Sophia is helping us again. Uh, first the drill is the bridge. Base, and then we're gonna go now 50 seconds, no stop for 30 seconds drill, go. Stretch, make sure you stretch your hips and try to reach as far as possible, okay? That will gonna be 50 seconds now, 30 seconds break, three reps. Second drill, hipscape. If you never did hipscape before, parents, it's time to do it. It's the most important move in jiu-jitsu. Without moving your hips, you cannot fight in the ground, okay? Second drill will be the hipscape, look. Hips are one. Ah, pretend that you're pushing someone, see? All right, we're gonna do that 50 seconds. You can raise for more if you want it. 30 seconds break, three times. The third and final one, you're gonna do a complete hip, uh, hip skate movement with the chest down on your knee, all right? Third drill, go all the way. Elbows, knee, slide. To the other side now. Hip escape, elbows, knee, slide. That will be the third one. You're gonna do the plus. The plus is you're gonna do exercise one, bridge, two, hip escape, three, complete hip escape movement, all two in a row for 50 seconds. And then you take a 30 second break, round number two, round number three, okay? That was the warm up. And today, we're gonna move to a very easy and very popular Brazilian Jiu Jitsu submission, which is the guillotine choke uh, inside the guard. It's good for self defense. Let's say somebody took you down on the street and you're not expecting. After you on the floor, you're gonna put your guard and then you're gonna apply the choke. And hopefully, the other person does not, not know Jiu Jitsu and he's not gonna be able to defend and you can take control of the fight. But of course, if you want a Jiu Jitsu match, training in your gym, in a tournament, you have the techniques to do it. Uh, you can use either on the street as a self-defense and also you can use inside the gym, all right? This move is very easy. Uh, kids, I wanna say age six, seven and up, you're able to do the guillotine choke. So you have your guard, let's say the person took you down. <clears throat> let's say there was in a, a street fight. This person is gonna try to, try to punch you in the face. Block, sit up, go as much as possible. Okay, by the way. Look, and then I wrap the neck, the choke, I wrap the neck, and I lay back, and I close my guard. Make sure you move your hips a little bit outside, so you can, see? Oop. So I'm doing a choke and twisting a little bit. Again, if I'm not defending myself, it's just I'm just doing a jiu-jitsu match, grips here, no gi, you controlling, you go up, wrap, lay back, Put it inside, I have a 10 fingers, okay? Or I have this grip here. The neck's right here, okay? I wrap here, okay? And then I, when I lay back, I twist my hips to the side. It, right there, okay? Very easy to do it. Look, all right? So a uh, little uh, uh, opponents can do in a heavier guys. So right here, fighting, wrap the neck. Get it, close your guard, close your guard, twist. Okay. Okay, that was the technique one, guillotine. The basic guillotine. Uh, second, sometimes when we do the guillotine choke, uh, the opponent put the arm inside to defend. Back in the days, it was a very good defense and usually was kind of, was a little hard to finish the position. But today, if you adjust your hips, you're still able to finish even with the arm inside. I'm here, I'm controlling the fight. I'm gonna go here, look, see? I'm trying to get my arms here, but I can't because the person's hugging you. I want you to lock with the arm inside. I'm having a 10 fingers grip, see? So my bone, it's right in the neck. So I'm wrapping here. Got the 10 fingers, the arm is inside, too late, I don't have time to let it go. Keep the arm, lay back, 
Now I want you to step and move as sideways as possible. And then you twist. All right, in a different angle here. So you sit up. When you wrap the neck, the arm is inside. I put it 10 fingers. Okay, when I, as soon as I lay, I move my hips to the side, close the guard again. See, now sh the, per the, 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 the head of the other person is on the floor. It's not on my, on, my, on my chest. And then I twist. That was it. So the first one, we did uh, neck only. Much easier, way better. If you could choose, you would do the neck only. But if the arm is inside, please keep it and finish. The third one, I'm gonna sweep the guy with the guillotine choke, go to the top mount position and finish on top mount position, all right? Have the guard, go. See, I if I could choose, I would do neck only as soon as I do in the choke, uh, the other person use both hands to try to defend the choke. See, look, see, they're defending. Now look, I go in. All right, keep the choke now. Look, detail on my leg. I'm hooking her, her legs. Now I'm gonna twist. Okay. Not only the pressure of the arm around the neck, plus my whole body, on the top of the other person. It's much worse than inside the guard, okay? A little quick. I'm here, sit up. Look, see, because um, I, I was planning to do already, look at my arm, it's already here, it's not open. Here, as soon as I look, the other person is already defending, see? I'm pulling, pulling, look, I move my hips, do the scissor sweep, hook the legs, and twist. Okay, that was the, uh, the third position. First one, choke only. Second, choke with the arm, hip adjustment. Third one, sweep, finish the guillotine on top mount position. And the fourth or last one, I need to uh, <coughs> make a uh, comment before we show. The guillotine to cervical position, it's illegal to do in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu with the gi. So you cannot do a cervical, some call a half crucifix, you cannot do that inside the gym, okay? Especially if you have your gi on. Some tournaments, when you're doing expert division, no gi, you're able to do this move. And of course, if you're defending yourself on the street, matter of life and death, of course you can do that, okay? So please, this is a self-defense move not to be applied inside the gym, especially for kids. Pay attention to the detail. So let's say that I'm on the street and this person won't stop punching me. I have, to, I have to protect myself. When I go for the choke, if the person start defending, I'm gonna switch from the choke to inside, look. I'm gonna lay here, as you can see, she's in a half crucifix, cervical position. I gonna, all I'm gonna do is start pulling up and twisting. Can break the shoulder, can hurt and pop the cervical. From some people from here, they switch to the mata leon, to the biceps, and look. Even worse. So you now you understand why this move is illegal to do. I show because self-defense. Jiu-Jitsu is a self-defense uh, style. And if you need to defend your life on the street, you can use that one. Again, very quick. The person is, yeah, you can punch that. See, look, look, see, I have to protect myself. As soon as I have a chance, I go over here. I'm choking, but I feel that my choke is not good. It's loose. I switch under the arm, start pulling, look. See, lock here. This will pop the cervical area pretty bad, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed the guillotine class, class number 12. 
choke only choke with the arm choke with the slip and the choke move into a cervical position uh, class number 12 like I said I want to say thank you to all parents all kids and all students for the support um, today we already did 12 classes and I'm sorry I ran out of games try to do anything fun for the family finish this and do jumping jacks competition sit up push up uh, all the games that we did in the past have fun enjoy this time uh, uh, with your family and uh, exercising all right thank you again thank you parents thank you kids thank you students we'll be back god bless everyone yes.